Hi, Phil Schwartz here again, and we're on Celebrity's Edge on the first sailing out of Florida. We're getting near the end of the uh, cruise, so I thought I'd kind of capture a little bit about what's different between pre- and post-COVID sailings here. Uh, so this is a fully vaccinated cruise. Now, you might wonder, where the heck are we right now? And uh, actually, this is late at night, and this is silent disco. Now, I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but you're not hearing any music, really. You're hearing some people kind of singing uh, in the background, maybe. But uh, they, these all people can hear all the music in their headphones. But you'll see there's red ones, there's blue ones, there's green ones. They're all listening to different music. So it's kind of a real fun thing. But it just shows you how normal, really, this vaccinated cruise is. So they're all cheering us right now, as you can tell. But uh, I, I made some notes here so that I could tell you a little bit about uh, beginning to end on the, what it's like post-COVID cruising. So to begin with, you want to absolutely download the app. Most all of the cruise companies now have apps to apply on board, and this will help you tremendously. So download the app before you ever cruise, uh, while you're at home yet. And when you're on the app, then you can do so much of your free check-in information right there on the app. So you usually will take it and uh, just go free cruise check-in. And it will ask you to scan your passport. So you hold your passport to the picture page and it automatically scans the passport there. And then uh, it says do a selfie. So just like your normal selfie, you put it up to your face and there's a little circle on there and you just snap a picture of yourself. So that's your onboard picture for all of your IDs and all of that kind of things while you're on board. Then the only other thing typically that they'll have you do is a health check-in. The health check-in will be the day before you get on board your ship. And when you get on board the ship, uh, they'll have all the information. So it's typically, it's the questions of, have you been around anyone with COVID in the last seven days? Have you, have you, do you have a fever? Have you been sick? That kind of thing. So fill all that out before you ever get to the, the terminal. Then when you get to the terminal, it makes things really easy and fast. So you get there and you do have to wear a mask at this point uh, going through the terminal. It's just like the uh, same thing as being at an airport. So it's a transportation hub. So the federal government requires you to wear a mask when you're in the terminal. So wear a mask, go on in, go through the luggage scanner and so on, just like you always did. And then uh, simply walk up to the check-in person and they have a little pad scanner there. You show them your boarding pass, which is on your app, okay, and your passport. They scan it, and you walk on. That's it. Now, as soon as you walk on the ship, then off comes the mask. And as you can see here tonight, you don't see any masks at all, okay? You see masks on the staff, but not on the customers, okay? So on a fully vaccinated cruise like this, no need for a mask, okay? So we got into check-in and so on. So probably then the first thing you're gonna do is head to the buffet, grab some lunch on that first day. When you go to the buffet, a couple subtle little changes. One is you don't go to the stack of plates and pick up your own plate. There'll be someone behind the counter there that will hand you a plate and the silverware, okay? So you don't get your own. And then as you carry that around to different stations, you just indicate what you want, hold it out, and they put it on the plate for you so that it's not everyone handling the same tongs on, on a buffet line. So they serve the buffet. Other than that, buffet's exactly the same, okay? Uh, getting down, oh, mustard drill. Yes, I have to tell you about the mustard drill. Completely different and oh, so much better, okay? Because now on that same app we were talking about, you can simply hit it and listen to the mustard bill uh, drill at your leisure there on the lifeboat jacket and so on. So you listen to it whenever you want to, or if you want to wait until you get to your stateroom, get to your stateroom, put it on the TV. It takes about three or four minutes to run through that. And then at your leisure sometime that first day, go to your muster station. There'll be someone there who will simply check you off the list. You're done. Okay. So that's all there is to muster station. Okay. Uh, show on shows and lounge areas. Uh, 
no change from pre-COVID. So no uh, special distancing, no masks. Uh, it feels completely normal, uh, same as it did before COVID. Lastly, in the restaurants, the only detectable difference that we could detect all week long there was when you sit down and you normally have your napkin and the napkin ring, let's say, on your plate there, it's a, it's when you sit down, the waiter comes over and says, we're no longer able to take the napkin and put it on your lap. You have to take the napkin out of the napkin holder by yourself. So hopefully you can handle that now, okay? Uh, one other thing would be short excursions. Very simple to book your short excursions using the app. Before you ever leave home, you can book your short excursions. You can book your specialty restaurants right on the app. Of course, if you want to wait until you come on board, that's fine. You can go down to the short excursion desk and there's a whole line of computers there. And you simply go down there, put your card up there, and uh, you can uh, reserve your short excursions right there on one of the computers. Or if you want to go, still go over to the short excursions desk, go over and do that. So very, very subtle little changes uh, that you see on these fully vaccinated cruises. Now the cruises that are not fully vaccinated, Okay, there's some little differences there on where and when you can wear, you have to wear masks. And certainly for unvaccinated people, there are much stiffer uh, regulations on those also. But if you're fully vaccinated, going on one of these fully vaccinated cruises, hey, life feels normal again. That's the biggest message I have. So see you later. Bye.